It was three days into the new decade that we were still wondering where the last decade went. It was three days into 2020 when an Iranian general was assassinated by a drone strike by Trump himself. Now I don't understand how they can fully justify each and every single action of theirs, but as they say, history is written by the victors. But even that wasn't the worst of problems. The concerning element was that there was a chance of war erupting on the scale of multiple countries. In other words, World War III. People were terrified they had never witnessed a major war in the last 75 years. The Doomsday Clock is a clock that is designed to display how close we are to a man-made catastrophe, aka the Doomsday. The Doomsday Clock was 17 full minutes till midnight in 1991. But in 2020, it came down to a single minute and 40 seconds till midnight. Meanwhile, Australia burned and burned. Countless numbers of forests, its species and houses burned. 18.6 million hectares out of 134 million hectares of forest area burned. Till date, that's one seventh of the forests of Australia burned. To make matters worse, a virus with no cure broke loose globally and is the reason people are quarantined inside their houses in March. Every month of 2020 is like an episode of Earth's Got Talent. Why can't we go back to the good old days? Back in 2016, when everything was calm, when the sun rose from the east and settled in the west, when the children born knew nothing but full bellies and clear skies, when it was perfectly balanced. As all things should be. But again, we can't just turn back time. Time is an ever-flowing stream unless we change the gravity and make it upstream or something, convert all existing matter into antimatter or something. But the point for making this video is not to play with time, but to understand that we cannot play with it. We have to bear through time. Things might get tough and all, but we have to pass through it all. Scientists have deduced that the human gene most likely did support a hibernation process. If we do figure out the process, the alteration in our genes or something, maybe then we can survive 2020. But the thing is, you don't just sleep through it, you have to face it. Even if we could acquire the ability to hibernate, it would not be justice to ourselves. What we can do is focus on ourselves and focus on the people who we are blind to. We can help ourselves learn a new skill, like you see in the background here. By the way, this video was not sponsored by Skillshare or anything. Be a lot cooler if it did. I just learned Photoshop in the quarantine. What have you done? Follow me on Instagram, by the way.